despite my best efforts, I got caught up in the zeitgeist of, of Batman Day in the end of September that celebrated the, I guess this year is the 80th anniversary of the Kipped Crusader, the Dark Knight. And uh, despite the fact that I'm really desperately trying to finish up Chapter 4 of Long John at longjohncomic.com, I figured I'd do my best to bang out a quick yet interesting sketch of the hero everybody knows. I was a little lost as for what to do. So many people were doing cool dynamic drawings and I didn't have the time nor the patience to really kind of plan something out like that. And on this piece of paper actually that I'm that you watching me draw on or ink on now, if you panned out, you could see a lot of other poses that I never that, that didn't go anywhere. And then I've just figured on a simple portrait side view that um, I'm sure has been done a hundred times before by better artists than me. But I guess the, the, the thing that intrigued me was playing with the high contrast world that Batman lives in and also kind of continuing a theme that I got to explore with the Hellboy drawing I did and uh, I kind of unconsciously created a sister piece, or at least a second piece in, I guess, what could be a series. I don't know. We'll see uh, how things go. But at the very least, it got me to bust out my brushes again. And you could see around the cheekbones, I was playing with sort of where the shadows would fall. Really taking the time to consider what the cheekbones were doing in comparison with the angle of the light source. But I ended up deciding just to go with what looked cool. <laughs> and what a better way to celebrate the uh, the most emo character by just giving him as much shadow as possible. I don't have a huge history with Batman aside from the people of my generation. You know, tend to the ones that they tend to cite. Obviously the big one is Batman the Animated Series, which apparently I didn't realize until a couple of years ago debuted on my birthday, so I, I guess I share an interesting lineage with a Batman. And probably that's the that and the nineteen eighty nine Batman are the, the the movie, the the Michael Keaton, Tim Burton movie are the films that are the the iterations that really shaped the Batman I imagine and the Batman I want to see. And that tends to be high contrast, highly melodramatic, very self serious and a big old chin. <laughs> Uh, that obviously that of course carries through to the comics I make today. Maybe maybe Long John is really just the animated series Batman with his with his cowl removed. But it was really fun to do this piece, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm. 